Today, we are roof washing. This should be fun. So I'm able to wash this roof from the ground all the way around. I'm shooting about a 5%. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I wash roofs. I have two roofs to wash. I'm gonna tell you what solutions that I use, the process. I'm even going to tell you how I got these jobs. As we wash this roof, you'll notice that the house itself is dirty as well. I have not been hired to wash the house, and this was not a project that I could upsell. And the reason being, I was contacted by a real estate company who apparently owns this house and a great many houses in our area, and they wanna put me on a vendor's list to wash all the roofs. So I am blessed. And by the way, there's almost no property protection. That one's already dead. Mike's the name, washings is game, fresh rinse, Mike remember the name. I am using an Everflow five and a half GPM 12 volt pump and it is getting the job done. I'm actually able to shoot with this pump a good 50 feet. I stopped using the Remco's because our local provider ran out and has not gotten any in all year long. However, I can get the Everflow from Amazon shipped the same day and it's about $10 cheaper. Yesterday afternoon, I came home from family vacation was checking all of my equipment, getting things ready for the day, and realized that I don't have a backup 12 volt pump. So at about one o'clock yesterday afternoon, I got on Amazon, placed the order, went and did a little shopping, came back, and I had a new 12 volt pump sitting at the front door. I'll put a link in the description for you. I mentioned a moment ago that I've only been commissioned to wash the roof. Since I've got my 12 volt out here, I'm gonna go ahead and wash the front of this house and also that north side over there. And then I will send before and after pictures to the real estate company and hopefully just create a little goodwill. It has a considerable amount of lichen on this north side but this 5% will knock that off very, very quickly. I'll come back after washing the roof, spray down some of the grassy areas, and then rinse off these two sides of this house. I won't charge anything for this. Now this roof is considerably worse. This tree gets the best of this roof. After this home, when we get to the next one, We'll go into the details about how I picked up this roof wash and two more at least with the promise of a whole bunch more, Lord willing, over the next few months. You can see the transition with zero surfactant, almost no runoff, and it is turning white immediately. No ladder needed on this one. So as it turns out, I did have to stretch a ladder up here because of this fence. I can't see this section of roof. 
So I've turned my dial to zero on the soap dial and I'm using this to rinse out my proportioner because when I rinse the sides of the house that I washed, I'm just gonna use the 12 volt. Now on that note, before anyone asks, I do have plans now to reinstall the AR-45. We are almost completely through with the month of July. So we're halfway through the wash season and I now have time. And because business has slowed down enough that I can focus on some maintenance and issues, things of that nature. So I'm going to reinstall the AR-45. Not having enough time to install equipment is a good problem to have. So now I'm just going to rinse where that I have washed earlier. We'll call this one a complete job. We'll move to the next one and we'll talk about how I got these jobs and Lord willing, many others coming soon. Okay, here we are in Springboro, Ohio. I, do, I wash a lot in this area. Washing this roof, it's not bad. I do have it set at about 5% nonetheless. Now, I would not need to be standing on this roof if it weren't for the fact that the homeowner's vehicle is right there. And so if I'm spraying from over there, over in this direction, I'm quite sure I'm gonna get it on their car. I don't wanna take that risk. And so I'm gonna be very, very careful here to not get it on their car. I may still have to do a little rinsey over there on their vehicle, but <laughs> probably. So as promised, I mentioned that I would tell you how I came across these opportunities. About a month ago, I received a call from a real estate agency who apparently manages a lot of rental properties. And they asked if they sent me addresses, would I care to price it for roof washing? I said I would, and quite honestly, that was the extent of the conversation. I never got any addresses. There was never any further communication. And then about two weeks ago, the same gentleman reached back out to me and I had completely forgotten about him. Nonetheless, he said, we're ready to have those roofs washed. I said, which roofs would that be? He gave me the addresses. I gave him prices. He then sent me work orders without ever questioning the prices and said wash these three roofs for starters and then we have many others in the future and as you can see this roof is not dirty this side doesn't need hardly anything but I will give it just a, a real quick once over from right here so you can see an instantaneous transition. I am using, again, about a 5% mix, meaning I have the proportioner set at the 5% mark using 12.5% sodium hypochlorite. And you can see the difference. It is absolutely making a difference. This roof was dirty, but not terrible and I am using zero surfactant. Surfactant is the soap that you might put into a mix to help the sodium hypochlorite treatment to stick to the shingles. You really want as little runoff as you can into the gutters. And I have found in my experience that it's rare that I need any surfactant. So, while I'm not trying to save money, that's not the objective. I'm still not hoping to waste money. 
So as you can see, instantaneous transition at 5% with no surfactant and no runoff. I will wet all of the plants once again when I'm done, but there's very little property protection needed on this opportunity. And I will walk back over here and just give a light once over. They said they were not overly interested in this south side and I understand why. It's not dirty. So you can see the difference already is instant. As with the other house, I'm going to go ahead and wash this vinyl at no additional cost. Get that looking good for them. Again, sometimes you do things just to create goodwill and to show gratitude. I was here for less than 30 minutes. I was at the other house for about 30 minutes. It's great money with little overhead for these particular jobs. Almost no property protection. So people over profits. Put that in rinse mode. and then rinse these plants. Rinse these trees real good. And we will be done. Hey, I really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell tab and you'll be reminded of all future videos. If you found value in this video and you want to send a donation, I'll put a link to my Venmo, Cash App, and Zelle in the description. All donations are greatly appreciated. Otherwise, it's all free and I really appreciate you. My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rinse and I'm out. Come on, Mike, remember the name.